Hi and welcome again to Bolts Nut Screws Online. This is just a, another quick instructional video um, to help show you how to identify grade 316 and grade 304 stainless steel bolts. I've just grabbed a collection of uh, boxes from all of the most popular brands just straight off the shelf. So we've got here uh, Hobson, uh, grade 304, James Glenn, grade 316, uh, some Bremick, grade 316. Bremick, Hobson and James Glenn are pretty much the most common bolts off the shelf here in Australia. Unfortunately 90% of them are coming from China. Now most of my customers are really only interested in either grade 304 stainless steel or grade 316. Now the 316 has a much better corrosion resistance but uh, having said that the, um, the 304 also has a uh, a very good corrosion resistance also and uh, in order to be using 316 you do need to be somewhere that it's highly corrosive like on the outside of a boat or uh, virtually getting wet with chlorine that sort of thing um, now first of all for the 304 bolt what you're looking for I'm not sure if I've focused on that well enough as you can see I'm not an expert with the camera A270 the A2 is how you know that a metric bolt is of uh, minimum 304 standard and the 70 is in relation to the hardness. Occasionally you'll see something which is A240. Still um, very anti-corrosive but um, just not quite as strong as A270. Uh, so if we have a 316 bolt you're looking for a470. See if I can get that to focus on there. So A470. So um, if that's not on the head of the bolt, then it may be 316, but don't risk it. You're definitely looking for something that's marked with an A4 on the head so that you know that it's marine grade stainless steel and A2 on the head so that you know that it's uh, a minimum 304, so just a standard grade stainless steel. Both should be non magnetic. If a magnet sticks to it, you don't want it, it's going to go rusty. Um, the other thing, uh, I get quite a lot of customers that are looking for a short bolt and they can't seem to find them in my bolt catalogue. Um, usually if you want a shorter bolt it's going to be fully threaded and we call them set screws. This little guy here is a bolt. This little guy here is a set screw. Simply because um, thread goes all the way to the head. Um, so if you're looking for say a 6x20 bolt and you can't find it in our catalogue then slip over to the um, 6mm set screws and no doubt you'll find it there. Another interesting thing about the head markings is this uh, THE on most of the bolts that you find in Australia. That stands for Tom Hoy Engineering which uh, is a fairly popular manufacturer in China for uh, stainless steel items. Interestingly enough, if you grab a bolt from this um, James Glenn box, THE, see if I can focus on that for you. THE, let's try over here. Yeah, THE. Similarly, Hobson 316 12 by 120. See the brand on the box there. Open him up, grab yourself out a big set screw, and what do you know? THE, Tomahoy Engineering. Who haven't we done? Bremick, grade 316, 38 by 4 in the Imperial variety. So their head markings are a little different again. Let's just see who's making those little guys. THE, Tom Hoy Engineering. So don't let these guys try and sell you up too well on, uh, on quality of product. Um, sadly, they're all coming in from overseas. Uh, there are some guys manufacturing bolts here in Australia, but only for, you know, rare sizes that aren't available off the shelf, which is kind of a bummer. 
It's, um, so measure them the same way as you measure everything else and you're just looking for that uh, A4 then you know for sure you've got 316 A2 then you know for sure that you've got 304 um, if it says something else like uh, 8.8 8, then you know that you've got a metric high tensile bolt 10.9 metric high tensile even stronger and uh, anything less than that and uh, you know you've just got a standard mild steel bolt okay thanks very much for watching this video please if you have any questions at all uh, please phone we're happy to talk to you about it 1300 589 836 thanks for visiting the site bye now